today I am talking about the graphical representation of linear motion. Linear motion can be represented by different types of graph. One is displacement time graph which is shortly called ST graph and second is velocity time graph shortly VT graph and third acceleration time graph shortly AT graph. Out of these three today our focus is on displacement time graph y-axis and another is x-axis if y-axis is divided into equal parts and x-axis is also divided into equal parts and if the value is taken in y-axis that is displacement 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 60 70 meter and in x-axis if we take time in second 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 second then this is the structure of displacement time graph if we draw or if we plot the graph it may be like this or may not be like this it may be like this also or may be another type like this we are not talking about the curved graph a graphical representation in which displacement is taken in y-axis and time is taken in x-axis to show the relation between displacement and time is called displacement time graph we are going to present three different types of motion of the body or state of the body graphically one is uniform velocity second is a body at rest and third is negative velocity what type of graph appears in these cases let's go through this uniform velocity first let's define it a body is said to be moving with uniform velocity if it covers equal distances in equal interval of time however small these intervals may be this is the definition of uniform velocity now how can we represent uniform velocity graphically look at this graph if the displacement of a body is 10 meter in first one second and again 10 meter in second one second and again 10 meter in another one second this way every second if a body covers equal displacement in equal interval of time when we join all these points then we'll have this type of graph this is the graphical representation of a body moving with uniform velocity and the graph is displacement time graph now we can conclude that displacement time graph of a body moving with uniform velocity is a straight line inclined towards x-axis now let's go through another state a body is if at rest then first we have to know what is rest a body is said to be at rest if it does not change its position with respect to its surrounding this is a structure of displacement time graph if a body is at the position of 20 meter from reference point and after one second it remains in the same place another second also it remains in the same place another second also same in this way every second it remains in the same place it means the body is not moving it is at rest and if we join all these points then what is seen this is a straight line and this straight line is parallel to x axis that's why what can we conclude displacement time graph of a body at rest is the straight line parallel to x axis okay let's talk about third one negative velocity a body is said to be moving with negative velocity if its displacement takes place in the opposite direction to the reference direction okay if a body has the velocity of 50 meter per second and in another second its velocity goes down to 40 another second 30 and another second 20 and another second 10 and lastly it comes to rest then if we join all these points we will get this type of graph now displacement time graph of a body moving with negative velocity is a straight line inclined towards y axis okay we can represent all these three in the same displacement time graph this way you know this a body start to move from zero and uh, it takes the path a b and after this it takes the path b c and after this it takes the path c d then the part a b represents uniform velocity and b c represents the body is at rest and c d represents the body has negative velocity this way we can understand about the displacement time graph okay this much for today